Yo yo, it's Lil Yerk and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make a custom loadout selector in Fortnite Creative. By the end of this step-by-step -step tutorial, you'll be able to incorporate this loadout selector into your creative map, whatever it may be. Here's how it works. When the game starts, players are able to choose what guns they want by cycling through each weapon category, then hitting the confirm button to be instantly granted their own custom loadout. I'm going to show you how I built the station surrounding the devices first. But, if you want to create your own, you can, and you can just skip to 143 to see just the devices and settings needed to make the loadout selector work. Okay, first you're going to want to grab the military prop gallery and gather these props and set them aside. Once you have all the pieces needed, grab this tall piece and place it down using grid snap 2 and place down 6, each one space apart in a straight line. Next, select this smaller piece and rotate it 90 degrees so the sloped side is facing up. Use the resizing tool and expand on the width and depth axis and shrink the height axis to create a nice overhang and place these down across the top of all six pillars. Next, grab the pipe and expand it to the max size on the width axis. Stack these three high along the back side of the pillars. Once again, take the pillar piece and rotate it 90 degrees so it's laying flat with the ground. Leaving the height axis alone, resize the depth and width to your liking and place these down side by side across the bottom. Now take the light bar and expand it in the width axis so it covers the whole gap between pillars and place them down in between each pillar. Lastly, we're going to grab this piece which is where our buttons are going to go and place down 5 of these at the edge between each gap between the pillars. Now we're going to move on to the devices. Open the creative menu and select an item spawner as well as an item granter. Throw both devices down and copy these settings. For the item spawner, we're going to change time before first spawn to instant and time between spawns to one second. Leave everything else as is except we're going to change cycle to next item when receiving from channel to channel 2. Copy and paste this item spawner 5 times. Each time you place it, increase the cycle to next item channel to the next number. So for the second spawner it would be 3, the third would be 4, and on and on. Now go up to the item granter and copy these settings. Set receiving players to triggering player. Change grant on index change option to no and equip item on grant to no as well. Then turn grant item when receiving from channel to channel one and lastly cycle to next item when receiving from channel two. Once again, like the item spawners, we're gonna copy and paste the item granter five times and each time we're gonna increase the cycle to next item channel by one but make sure you leave the grant item channel as channel one. The next part is very important or the whole selector will not work right, so listen carefully. Each granter and item spawner need to be filled with the same weapons and in the exact same order. So for the first one, I'm loading shotguns and notice I load the blue tack, then the purple tack, then the gold tack, followed by the purple pump. Then I walk over to the matching item spawner Grab those same guns and load the same guns in the same order, so blue tack, purple tack, gold tack, and then purple pump. Go through each spawner loading SMGs, ARs, a random fourth slot, and lastly heals using this same process. Making sure that each item spawner and granter that you load are set to cycle to the next item when receiving from the same channel. And now that you've loaded all the item spawners and granters with the same items in the same order, you can begin by taking the first spawner device and place it in between the first pillar. Repeat this for the rest of the item spawner devices. You want to place it down so that the gun displays sideways and parallel to the back. If you place it down and it's not, just rotate the item spawner until it is and then move on to the next one. After all the item spawners are placed, open the creative menu and grab yourself a button device and throw it down. Open the settings for the button and change the text to next weapon. Then scroll down and set it to when activated, trigger on channel 2 and click accept. Place the button on the front prop in front of the first weapon spawner you loaded, this time changing the button to trigger on channel 3 when interacted with, and move on to the next one. Once again, just change it to channel 4, click accept, move on to the next slot and place the button, this time changing it to channel 5. Now move on to the last one and change it to channel 6. Okay, now place one more button down off to the side. I like to resize this button so people don't miss it. This is going to be the grant items button. Open the settings and change the text to grant loadout and change it to trigger on channel one when interacted with. We're almost done guys, hang with me. If you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to drop a like, hit subscribe, do whatever you wanna do and all that stuff. If you wanna support me, you can use code YerkYT in the item shop. Now back to the video. Open the creative menu and grab a player capture device. 
Open the settings and change it to capture size 1 8 and click accept. Take this capture device and place it down so the items are inside for all 5 slots. And finally guys, the final step. Place a barrier down and adjust the width so it blocks off the weapons. This stops players from being able to pick up the items directly in the item spawner and messing up the entire machine. And there you guys have it, your very own custom loadout selector in Fortnite Creative. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll try my best to help. If you have any suggestions on what tutorial I should make next, let me know down there as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you made it this far, comment a fire emoji in the comment section. If you want, check out some of my other videos on screen now, and as always, stay up. Thank you.